Hey guys and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. Today we're going to have another safety razor review for you guys. With me I have the Mule R41 and I've reviewed the R89 already on the site. Um, the R41 is a little bit different. It's an open comb two-piece safety razor and it is nicknamed online the Beast because of how aggressive it is. They actually had to redo it to make it a little bit less aggressive so I have the uh, remodeled edition. I didn't get to try the original Beast. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in that, but I'll tell you what I think about the remodeled edition of the R41. Let's jump right into the weight. It weighs 3.0 ounces, and that's no surprise because the handle is definitely, definitely a really wide, thick handle, uh, which I like, and there's no surprise that it weighs 3 ounces. In terms of the balance, the balance point for me is approximately a quarter of an inch down on the handle, which I think is a good spot for it. Um, I have no trouble maneuvering it from one hand position to the next. Um, that's definitely easy. And I think a lot of the weight is in the handle because it's a two-piece safety razor. The, me the mechanism um, is in the handle, so it makes it a little bit handle heavy, but that's overall not a problem for me. In terms of the grip, when I first looked at it, it does look like a cross-sectional hatch, like the uh, like a lot of the Mercure safety razors have that gritty metal type cross-sectional hatch grip on the handle. It does look like that, but um, inspecting it a little bit closer, I'm not sure if the camera could focus, but it's actually these tiny little grooves that wave all the way from the top of the handle down to the bottom. Um, I think it looks a lot nicer than the cross-sectional hatch a typical gritty metal, but it doesn't act as well uh, as it doesn't have as good a grip, I don't think, because it has good grip horizontally, but vertically it doesn't have the best grip. Um, I've never had any trouble having it slip out of my hands or anything like that, uh, but you you might have trouble if your hands are soapy, but obviously. Uh, it's a middle of the road grip in my opinion. What does stand out is the knob at the bottom which is used to open the, the headpiece because it's a two-piece safety racer. It does add additional grip which I enjoy and I, I like resting my pinky um, on the bottom and if my hand were to try to slip out I'd be able to catch the safety razor before it completely fell because this knob protrudes a good amount. Uh, let's talk about the length. It measures in at exactly 4.125 inches or 4 and an eighth inches from the head to the toe, which is a little bit longer than the majority of safety razors, but for me, since I have larger hands, it is actually perfect. Around 4 inches is perfect for me. Um, if you have really small hands, you might have trouble maneuvering it from one hand position to the next while you're shaving. Uh, I don't, and I prefer my safety razors a little bit bigger. Not only is it longer, but it's definitely got a thicker handle, which I also enjoy holding on to as I'm shaving. Um, in terms of the aggressiveness, I mentioned that it was nicknamed the Beast uh, in the introduction. Um, I would rate this second model uh, approximately an 8 out of 10 on my aggressiveness scale. And that is because, if you can see these open comb, an open comb in general is a little bit more aggressive than non-open comb, but these open comb are really wide, and they really expose a lot of that blade uh, to your skin, and I can definitely feel the difference as I'm shaving with it. Obviously, I have a lot of practice. I feel like my technique is pretty good, um, so I've never had any trouble with any nicks or cuts, but I'm a lot more careful than... I normally am if I'm using a less aggressive safety razor, that's for sure. Um, blade replacement is quite easy, and actually when I first pulled it out of the box, I thought that it was a, a three-piece safety razor because it really doesn't look like this knob at the bottom moves at all. But it is to pop off the top, and you can see the screw is a lot shorter than uh, the majority of two-piece safety razors. The screws are usually a lot longer, especially on like Mercure safety razors, uh, but it's fine. And the mechanism to open and close it is extremely smooth, both 
opening and closing is very smooth. I could, I don't see this thing breaking on you anytime soon, the mechanism to turn. I don't see that breaking on you. Um, and in terms of blade placement, the head, when it's fully tightened, it definitely sits the blade perfectly. I had no trouble with the blade moving around on me as I was shaving. Um, very quality headpiece, uh, in my opinion. I don't see you having any trouble with that. Um, yeah, so let's recap. Um, it's a very aggressive safety razor. I can't really recommend it for somebody that has no experience, but with a little bit of experience, you could definitely, a little bit of form, practicing your form, you could get, you should be able to use the safety razor without any trouble. I do recommend it for people that have thicker beards that need to cut through. Um, just two things in combination, the weight and how aggressive this thing are, it makes shaving absolutely easy. Uh, super, super easy. It cuts through the hairs, no problem. The weight does the work for you. The only safety razor that I could say is even easier than this is poss possibly the Mercure Sledgehammer Slant. Um, but besides that, this thing does all the work for you. You get an amazingly close shave, um, and it feels great in my hand. I like the, the width of the handle. Um, the, me the mechanism to open the top is just really well constructed. Uh, the blade sits perfectly in the head. It looks amazing. Um, it kind of has a look similar to Merc uh, I mean Edwin Jagger safety razors because they have the emblem at the top just like Mule does here. Um, the only thing is the grip possibly horizontally it doesn't have the best grip but it still looks amazing and this knob at the end acts as some extra grip for you. So that's my review of the Mule R41 guys. I hope you learned something about it. Um, this should definitely be in your selection if you don't have it. I highly recommend it for most levels except people that have never used a safety razor before. Uh, because of how aggressive it is. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Head over to primandprep.com for more male grooming tips and safety razor and soap reviews. Uh, have a good day. Bye.